The DevExpress WinForms grid provides comprehensive support for the Microsoft Outlook style data grouping feature. The data grouping UI is enabled in the grid view by default so that end users can shape data using drag and drop operations or via context menus. If required, you can use the grid controls options to disable data grouping for a particular column or the entire view. You can apply data grouping at design time using the same operations as at runtime or via the property grid. By using the grid views options, you can additionally control the following data representation aspects. Use predefined value ranges to group data. Anchor group rows to the top of the view when scrolling large data groups. Change the group row paint style. and automatically expand group rows. There's more than one way to apply data grouping to your grid in code. With all available methods, the grid provides the API so that you refresh the control only once, even if multiple data grouping operations have been performed. By default, data groups are formed by putting identical values into each group. But sometimes you need to implement your own logic, which is done using the custom column group event. For example, you can handle this event in order to change a numeric column's data grouping logic so that groups contain ranges of values starting with 0 to 99.99, then 100 to 199.99, and so on. The Grid Control's comprehensive group row API allows you to iterate through group rows, determine a group row's nesting level, expand or collapse an individual group row, respond to group row expand and collapse operations, prevent end users from expanding or collapsing individual group rows, and obtaining information about child rows or parent group rows.